what is going on everybody this is sdoc21 welcoming you to my youtube channel that's a pretty fancy intro you got right there isn't it mm -hmm. what is going on everybody this is sdoc21 coming to you with episode number 51 of my Minecraft Let's Play, guys. Hopefully, you were here to see the world tour and look back episode 50 special. But anyways, guys, we have something brand new to do on our plate today, and we are headed right there. So let's get on to it, guys. I do have to make a quick pit stop and use this dirt a bit. And I also brought along a bed. That way I can hopefully skip through some nights here. As we are going to be making something, guys. Now, it involves an F word. No, not that. Really? That's the F word you come up with? Come on now. You know better than that. No. No. Come on. Think about it. F fit. Fish. Fish, fishing, fishing, yeah, we are going to make a fishing shack, as I had said in the past at some point in time. Anyways, guys, I just want to patch this up because now that we know what's down here and we know there's nothing fun, we can get rid of it. Get rid of this little hole here, and it'll make the water flow naturally and not have to worry about any other dumb looking water. And it also makes more sense as we traverse out this way. And I did mark where we were going with a little bit of a chest full of goodies. So, I have all of my materials ready, and we are just skipping this night here really fast. Let's break this bed and head out, guys. Now, like I said, it's that little tiny dot out there. And I don't... Can, can I see the chest yet? No, it's right, it's right over there. Anyways, guys, I now have the chicken with me because I ended up eating all of the mutton through that um, world tour for episode 50. Shush up, spider. So, yeah, there's the chest, guys. It is still Christmas Day here, so, yeah, got got this nice present chest here. But anyways, what we're going to do here to christen our new build is we are going to do just a, just a tad bit of fishing. Oh, and that's the other thing. I am level 21 for episode 50. I was level 18. That's because I re-enchanted a fishing rod and ended up getting lure 2, unbreaking 3. So I combined the luck of the sea with the unbreaking and the lure 2. So this is now what we have. This is almost the best fishing rod you can get in the entire game. The best one would have one extra level of lure on it, which I will be striving for here as we get more stuff. And I pick really great areas because there's always a freaking cave. Although I guess technically for Minecraft there should always be a cave. Ooh, pufferfish. Yay. Anyways, guys. So there's always a cave throughout Minecraft, but I'm really good at picking spots that have caves. Now, if you don't know what the enchantments do, obviously unbreaking makes it so that it has longer durability. As you can see, I've already used it once and I didn't lose any durability, which is awesome. Luck of the Sea changes your ability to get treasure instead of junk when you catch random items rather than fish. So you can pull out better bows, other fishing rods, enchanted books, enchanted swords, armor, all types of stuff like that. And then lure changes how long it takes for a fish to come up onto your hook. Now, I believe the maximum time without any lure enchantment is 45 seconds. And then with lure, I think lure 3, it's like down to within 25 seconds or somewhere along those lines. I, I don't know. The stats are up on the Minecraft wiki, guys. So if you are curious, go ahead and check that out, guys. But I do have a nifty design for this. I've been doing a little bit of thinking, a little bit of sculling over. I have not tested it out in creative or anything like that, so this is pretty much just going to be a free build, just like everything else, but we are going to be sticking with the same theme of the dark oak outside with the oak walls, guys. So that's going to christen our fishing rod. And I also brought the other ones out here just because I don't need to hold on to a fishing rod. I was really hoping to hold on to something special there, but it's all right. We didn't catch anything. So what we need to start with is the dark oak oak now what we're going to do is we are going to build out uh, right over uh, right over here no we're gonna do this completely in the water yeah that would be awesome guys all right so we're going to start it right here this is going to be the support and then we're going to have another support uh hold on I didn't do any counting, but we're going to do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So then on the eighth block. Cool beans. There's a support there. And then we're going to go out one, two, 
three, four, five, right here. So we need to support this, make this actually a legit pillar, and we are now up on the surface. So that's awesome. And then we are going to mirror this pillar here. It's in line right there, right? Yeah, should be. Oh yeah, I can't do that. There we go. And then we got to put another one right there. Now this is going to get a little costly on my wood as, you know, I've got to actually build this building. So that's fine. I'm not too worried about that, guys. Now let me just, let me just take a, a quick gander at this business and see if this is what I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we got to go one, two, three, four, five, and then place another pillar. And then one, two, three, four, five, and then place another pillar. And the only issue is I don't have respiration on my helmet. That would be really nice if I did, as I wouldn't have to worry about drowning. So we got to go here, stay in line with this one, right down to this block. Yeah. If I'm lucky, that actually worked. It did. It worked. Perfect. All right, and then we got to go out here and build the last pillar. And it's got to be in line. Did I just hear a zombie? Hold on. Let me investigate right quick. Why is there a zombie out here? Where did you come from, buddy? That's right, I got a flame bow. Don't worry. It's not gonna. It's not going to burn you to death or anything, but that's fine. All right, so anyways, this should be the spot right here. So let's place this down and just travel this one up, and hopefully it lines up like the others. Are we lined up? Looks to be it. Where? Oh, Dark Oak Forest, that's why. Because they can spawn in the low levels of light out there. So that's going to be the only issue are the mobs out here. Okay, so what I want to build first. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to make sense to you guys, but I want to build the deck area first. The... Why did that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the deck area first, as this is going to be obviously, you know, like a piece of place for water and all that. So what we need to do is we need to build a... Oh, wait, I put the logs away. Goodness gracious. So we're going to build a deck or the dock or whatever you want to call it. It's it, it's not really going to be a dock because this isn't going to be for boating, but it's okay. We can call it a dock. All right, so we need to build up just one pillar. Boop. And then that's it. And then we'll do the same over here. Boop. And over here. And basically, this whole building here is going to be an L shape. So it's going to start here on land, and it's going to go kind of like this way. And then it'll come out here to where the dock deck type deal area is. So we're just going to suspend this above the water. And we will just roll with that, guys. Now, I've never made a fishing shack before. So if this looks like, like buns, and you know it looks like buns, you need to let me know it looks like buns. All right? So I'm, I'm going to need your help on that one. But other than that, guys, I think I got this. So let's let's see if I can get up here. This will work easier if I do it this way and actually get up on top of what I'm building. So this is going to extend out into the water. And obviously, it, I'm, not, I'm not just going to leave like these logs here. There's there's going to be a fancy little rail or something going on. I don't know. I'll, I'll pretty it up, as I always do. I'm probably going to build some big posts out of the wood and such. Oh, goodness. I don't know if you guys heard that on the... On the recording or not but man did it sound like something just went all types of crazy upstairs so let's just build a nice little outline here at least somewhere to walk on and then this is going to be like the fishing area here we will have from there all the way out to here will be fishing area and we can hit everywhere in this river so that is going to be awesome i'm super pumped to start fishing actually i was told that i should probably start or at least look into it by a friend of mine who's a really good friend of mine so it's, it's really nice when people actually you know look out for you in the series but i thought about it and i was like you know what that would be really cool to start fishing because fishing not only do you get experience not only do you get food but you can also catch some really nice treasure if you get a good rod and right now i've got the second best rod in the game that's possible the only thing better like i said is when lure is all the way up at the fullest which is level three so that will happen soon it's just i don't have any xp anymore because what i had to do was spend three levels of xp just to oh goodness i need to place down this anyways just so i could enchant another one and then 
Uh, I don't know how many pieces of this I'm going to need because I still need some logs. I actually need a lot of logs. So this is going to be a two-part build, guaranteed. Anyways, so I had to spend the three levels to originally enchant it, and I got lore two, and I was like, you know what? That's that's good enough, and it had the unbreaking on it as well, but like I could see the lore two in the uh, the preview window. So I was like, you know what? We'll roll with that. That's not bad. And then I combined them, and it took 18 levels to combine them. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, so in hindsight, this is a pretty big docking area, but I'm okay with that. I don't think I'm gonna gonna regret it being overly large, and also I'm gonna lose that outside edge area. All right, so we're just gonna focus on getting, I guess this this back part of the house done, and the what am okay? What am I doing here? I don't want chests. Okay, sorry guys, I lost train of thought there really fast. But anyways, we're gonna finish this back part here. And then we are going to probably build just like a little miniature skeleton of the house type deal. Because this is going to be a little fishing shack. It'll have a couple of chests in it. Maybe like a display area or like a grill type thing. Like obviously you don't grill them. But we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But anyways, guys. So this is going to be really cool in the end. It'll be a nice final product. And I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get building again. Because the last thing that we were building was the animal stable type deals the i don't know if see you don't call them stables stables are for horses the so animal farms that was the last thing i was building and then i did a bunch of uh caving recently so i've been a little bit out of it from building and building is probably my favorite thing here in minecraft and as long as i can build something that's actually going to mean something i'll do it every day of every week guys i like building so if anyways on that note guys if you have anything crazy you want me to build let me know and i can maybe turn that into like a, another special or something like that uh so anyways how do i want to do the rest of this building like i said i want the building to be an l shape but the way that it looks now it's not going to really be an l shape unless i make it this big and then just put a nice little place here in an entryway Ooh, i kind of like that idea all right so let's do it off this way how many blocks was that? One, two, three, four, five. Hey. We'll do six, seven, and then our pillars. Like we did prior. Yeah. That'll look good. I like that. Is it nighttime enough yet? Yes, it is. Awesome. We can sleep off the night. And then I will be cutting down some dark oak trees here. I'll do that one off camera because you guys don't need to see that. It's just me cutting down trees. This axe is pretty nice though. So I'm not I'm not too mad about that. And we need to con I guess we need to convert the rest of these and I'll just I will go out and make sure to get a bunch of wood. 42 slabs. That should definitely be enough here to finish this area off. And if it's not, tickle me pink, man. I don't know. All right, we got to move all of our stuff up here. We're just going to we're just going to move it out of the way right now. Just just so I don't have to worry about it. I don't really have a rhyme or reason to where I'm putting it, and then we need to take this chest as well. As well as all of our awesome things that we now need to put all back in there. Uh where the chest go? There's a chest. We'll just stick the chest over here. And all of this needs to go away. It was nice and organized in that chest, too. Now it's not. Oh, well. And I ended up with a random stack of wood in a, in a spot in my inventory. That's fine. So that will be the outside wall there. And then the entryway will be, like, right here. And you'll enter into the building this way. So this is actually going to be a rather large fishing shack. And I'm okay with that. I guess it's going to be more of a, a fishing building. Oh, wow, that wasn't even enough slabs to do that part. Goodness! All right, well, at least what we can do is we can start laying out the oak for the outside of this building, as that's what I've done for all the other buildings. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave off the logs that I normally do at the bottom. You know what I mean? Like the bottom row, just because we have this, this border here on the bottom. And that's three there. Yeah, I guess we could put a nice little symmetrical door right there. And then we will continue the building this way. And then it will it might even be an open-mouthed building. It might not be doors all the way, so that's all right. And keep going here on the outside with this oak wood. Whoop, missed one because I was in the way. And we're going to need windows. I didn't plan on putting any windows in, so we're going to have to really think about this one. I think, it, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Because normally what I do is I do like logs window. I can I can do like log like window type deals, I suppose. All right, so this is the middle of this area. So let wait. One, two, three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I made this part bigger than the width of this. Do I want to shorten this part? Yeah, let's do that. We're going to shorten it. Sorry, guys, to make you sit through that for me to go, nah, we're going to change that. But you know what? When you build and it's all on camera and it's all live, it, it's what happens. It's inevitable. So let's go ahead and take this two blocks shorter. We'll make this the outside edge, which means this here. Because that'll change this doorway. Make this go away. This will be our, our log. There we go. And then a log back here. There we go. That's how you take a bunch of real estate off of your building and make it a little bit smaller. A little bit more concise. I like it. I like this this new smaller size. Yeah, this will work. This will work well for my needs. And I got to remember to get that back side there. So let me place down these oak wood pieces again. And it's going to be a nice little entryway. Like I said, I'll probably put like a seating area right here. Just just to lounge out, just to chill out, maybe a couple of bookshelves or something like that. But anyways, so since we're going to do that, we're going to have probably a, a, a well, probably just a one big window. We could do three, but then we'd have to just stick with the wood like this throughout. Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Because if I put logs here, it'll just look funny from the outside. Yeah, you know what? I can roll with that. I can roll with that. So let's let's do that. This episode is going to be a little bit longer just because I had to redo things, and I want to give you guys a fair share of viewing pleasure. So how big do I... You know what? I think fishing shacks are pretty bright and open. So let's, let's go ahead and make sure this stays pretty bright and open. And then here, we're not going to have any windows on the entryway. And I'm out of oak in my hot bar. So I got more. And then the door is going to go over here, which will definitely be a dark oak door. And then I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do with this opening here. If I want to do like an open mouth building or if I want to actually seal it off. Uh, how big was that window? It was all the way to this. All right, cool. And then we'll just move this over this way. Get it on top of there first and bam. So windows all around. Yes, gorgeous. And then we're going to do like, like this, like right, whoop, right there. And then... Oh no, come on. I hate when stuff falls in the water like that. And then I'll, I'll make some sort of step here to get up into the building. And then I guess we'll have to do it like that and that. I don't know, guys. I'll figure that out off camera probably and just skull it out, think about it, see what's going to go on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's going to look good. It's going to be a nice little basic type shack with obviously like some wood there. I can't really put a pillar here, although I probably could just against the front of the house, just so I can get that that typical look that I always have on my buildings, guys. But anyways, I'm going to sign it off here from the new dock that we are building, guys, and we will build next episode and then probably just have a nice fishing episode for the follow-up, guys. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, everybody, and I will see you all next time. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please click on either one of the videos playing currently on your screen right now to take you to the two videos that I have posted last. Also, guys, subscribe because it is absolutely 100% free. And by all means, please stalk me on social media. Bye bye